What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. How y'all doing today? So today we're going to look at a video. This is a video that I recorded while my computer was down. Now that we have our computer back up, I'm able to show you this. Uh, as some of you are aware, not too long ago, uh, I had a bit of a problem with my van overheating and I had some theories on what it was. It turns out in the end, I was right. Um, so this video is sort of me trying to fix the problem myself and investigate as well. Um, one thing out of the video or in the investigating, uh, I did confirm my suspicions that uh, in, I was actually correct about what I thought it was. Um, but unfortunately, everything with mechanics and van life and stuff like that, not everything goes to plan. And uh, in this video, we're going to just see how things can unfold. And not everything you want or hope to go smoothly does go smoothly. In the end, I did have to take this vehicle to a mechanic to get fixed. Um, it was just impossible for me with what was happening to fix it myself but uh this is a nice little insightful video uh things that can go wrong with your van and sometimes you can do a bit of tinkering sometimes you can fix it yourself and it's always worth investigating so you can sort of get a idea of what the problem is all right guys i hope you enjoy now today we're doing a bit more maintenance on the van uh, as i said i've had that uh overheating problem going on uh so i bought a new thermostat i thought i'd have a crack at trying to uh, replace it myself so today that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and try to do let's see if i can solve the problem or at least if anything not destroy my van <laughs> come on with me okay so first of all i want to remove the air filter box so we're going to take that off stick that up there for now I guess now uh, here we have the filter I'm gonna go ahead and take that out oh it's stuck okay that's come out again oh my lord it's on there I don't know why this isn't staying oh we got a broken there we go we have a broken latch there that snapped off. Hopefully that's not sitting somewhere it shouldn't be right now. I don't see it in here. Maybe it fell out. Okay. Okay, so we gotta remove these four bolts here to remove this air box out. I'm gonna disconnect it over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, hello there. Hello there. So guys, we've had a development on this. Let's have a look. Now I just removed that air filter top and I don't know if you can see all the way down there, I have dampness all over where my, uh, where my um, thermostat is, which is located inside of here. It looks like, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's all leaking out of there. And could be why I'm losing coolant slowly. I don't know exactly what's causing that, whether it's a hose issue or whether it's a thermostat issue or a gasket issue. Not entirely sure, but I have to look into this further. I'm not too sure what's going on with that, but uh, we're going to pull it apart, replace the... Uh, it could be a leaking o-ring, I'm not too sure. Uh, it also could be the, um, the thermostat as well, we're not too sure. So we're going to head and go ahead with this thermostat replacement and hope that that's a fix. Um, but it could be something worse, I'm not too sure. 
but we'll have a look. Okay, so I need to go ahead and loosen this, and I need to take this uh, electrical piece off here as well. Actually, I may not be able to, I may not have to take that off, we'll see. But we definitely need to loosen this up and take this box off. I need to take this bracket off here. Oh. Sorry for the wind, guys. I can't really choose the weather. But we got that out. Put that down. Now we can take a bit of a better look. Okay, you can definitely see water all around the rim there. I don't know if that means my O-ring on the thermostat's gone, but we're going to go out and replace it anyway, and we're going to replace the thermostat because we may as well do that while we're pulling apart. But first, we have to drain some of this coolant out or we're going to lose it all. There it goes, so I'm under my van right here. Hopefully no dust drops in my eyes. I don't want to be lying for the day. But right here... I believe that's where we empty our coolant from. I would put a hose on it. Ugh. I'd put a hose on it if I were you guys, because the frame's right here, and now it's going to be dropping all over that frame, which I don't really want. But I don't have a hose to put on this, so we're going to go and just do it as is for now. All right, let's go see if that works out for me. Okay, so we're going to drain that for a little while. I may just take this off to relieve some of the pressure and help. Like that. You should see the level dropping on the uh, overflow. Oh, okay. It's coming out pretty slow. Actually, it's kind of surprising how slow it's coming out. I thought it'd get faster than that. Ooh. Gotta watch out, it's splashing towards me, so you don't want to get this stuff in your eyes or mouth because it's insanely poisonous and it could blind or kill you. So be careful when you're doing this. Maybe put some eye cover on. Just gonna keep an eye on the level down here when I think I've gotten enough out. I'll go ahead and continue with the rest of it. Okay, so we have drained quite a bit out. I'm seeing some flecks of stuff in there. It kind of looks a little dirty. I don't know. Maybe there may be a lot of stuff in my radiator. Could be a radiator clock. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and find out because I still have to address this leaking up here anyway. Okay, so problem. I cannot get the bolts of the housing off. They're actually seized on there. I don't know if it's from like erosion or something. They are aluminum housing there. I do not want to thread anything there. So I'm going to let the uh, mechanics do this one. I'm going to have to book it in. Sometime this week, I'm guessing, maybe next week. Uh, see what happens. All right, let's put it all back together. Airbox is back on. Okay, so I guess this video is a reminder that you think you know what you're doing and it doesn't always work out the way you planned it to. Uh, obviously, at least taking all that stuff off and seeing that leak under the hood um, around the thermostat housing definitely tells me there's something going on in there that needs to be addressed whether it's bad thermostat bad thermostat uh, o-ring or seal 
or maybe the radiator's clogged because that water was looking, or the coolant was looking a little on the dirty side. Uh, so it could be any of those things, uh, but yeah, at least I can take that information and now go to the mechanic and give them a better direction to look, and hopefully that will not waste their time. They'll be able to get onto it and get onto it quick and save me some money for doing the digging at least. All right, guys. So we may not have won this one, but it always helps to learn a little bit about your vehicles and how you can fix them yourself. I potentially could have saved myself some money today, but those bolts just were not coming out. They were just seized in there. I don't want to work. I don't want to risk stripping those. As I said again, that's uh, aluminum housing. You strip aluminum. Um, if you strip out the aluminum, goodbye. Like that's a, that's a big bad problem we got right there. Um, and I do not want that. That's going to cost even more money. So this time I'm going to just leave it. Leave it to the professionals to get that fixed. And we'll see what they uh, do. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You know what to do, guys. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Comment below. Who's had similar problems like this with their vehicle? Um, yeah, hopefully I get it fixed soon. Because uh, pretty soon I'm going to want to start traveling again. Um, and I need a good running vehicle for that. Uh, in its current condition, it's really it, the heat just goes right up as soon as I start going up hills. So I can't have that. I need I need a good running vehicle. Plus, you know, this is my home. You know, if I can't move this thing, I can't live. Okay, guys. Hopefully that video was insightful for you guys. So what the problem ended up being, I did end up taking it to the mechanics, and what it was was. Um, basically i was right it was the thermostat and the o-ring um so what happened was the o-ring started leaking first and over time it uh started leaking down into the bolt threads and that started rusting out the bolt threads because the coolant is quite like corrosive um so it started rusting the bolts not the bolt threads but the bolts um the bolts are steel so they started rusting and expanding with rust into the threads and were just jam-packed in there. Um, so, yeah, they just seized in there. And I was actually starting to round off the belt bolt heads trying to get them out. And I, I knew it was a bad situation. So I took it to the mechanic. And they, I don't know how, they somehow managed to get those bolt threads out. They got better tools than I do. Um... So they said that they were so rusted that the bolts actually were starting to fracture and almost snapped off in the housing. So, but they luckily got it out, um, put in a, put in the new um, thermostat that I bought, put in the new O-ring that I bought, and they flushed out all that dirty coolant. The coolant was dirty from all the rust that was going through through the threads and stuff like that, and dirt going in through the O-ring. So I got fresh coolant, all that um very very thankful to the mechanics because they did a great job on it and it's running great now so very good all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you learned something from this video let me know down in the comments uh if you've had similar situations with your thermostat or what kind of uh, little mechanic problems you've had that you've investigated and figured out yourself let me know down in the comments guys all right guys you know what to do. Hit that like. Hit the subscribe. Until next time, guys, this is Ozzy Van Man. We'll see you later. What's going on here?